Nancy, help! What's the matter? It's Harper. She's in bad shape. I can't carry her. There's no time to help. Sorry. Dear Ned, the fire was completely out of control, but I was able to fight my way out of the house. Jesselyn and Harper have been hospitalized, but Colton and Wade aren't returning my calls. I hope they're okay. Clara still hasn't been found. I don't know what else to say this time. I wish I could go back and do things differently. I guess I'll be coming home. Love, Nancy. Nancy! Help! What's the matter? It's Harper. She's in bad shape. I can't carry her. I bet we could build something to get her out. I could use this to build a makeshift wheelbarrow. Hmm. Hmm. Thanks, I'll get her out. Nancy, my mother's upstairs. She's in the bedroom. It's too dangerous to ask you to help. You decide. I'm sorry, I can't help. There's no time. Dear Ned, the fire was completely out of control, but I was able to fight my way out of the house. Jesselyn and Harper made it out right behind me. Clara still hasn't been found. The fire department traced the source of the fire back to the faulty furnace in the basement and insisted we all visit the hospital for exposure to toxic fumes, which explains some of the things I saw around the house. Nice to know I wasn't going crazy. Apparently, many of the ghosts in Victorian-era fiction may have been inspired by the effects of exposure to carbon monoxide from faulty heaters. I assume the explanation would be reassuring, but in light of everything that's happened, I can't say it is. Jesselyn's gone missing again, this time less dramatically. She told Colton that she needed space from the family, maybe permanently. She hasn't returned my calls. I guess I can't blame her. Wade's dropped out of contact as well. Savannah wrote to say that she decided to try to reach him, but her letters were returned unopened. I've met so many so-called spirits in my cases, each one a bigger hoax than the last. But the day after the fire, a girl in town told me she swore she saw the figures of two women floating in the smoke above Black Rock Island. I have to admit that hearing that made me shiver a bit. I know, not like me at all. Jesselyn is safe, but I can't help but feel like I've missed something. I wish I could go back and do things differently. I guess I'll be coming home. Love, Nancy. Nancy, help! What's the matter? It's Harper. She's in bad shape. I can't carry her. I bet we could build some- I could use this to build a makeshift wheelbarrow. upstairs. She's in the bedroom. It's too dangerous to ask you to help. You decide. I don't care if it's dangerous. I will get her out. I 
to focus on getting out of here. The time's been reset. Okay, I did this once. I can do it again. I'm sorry for what happened. I sat at your grave every night for a year. And I said, I'm sorry. I didn't want you to die. You had so much, so much, and I had nothing. And now you want my life. You want me to rot in some prison. Well, I can't keep running from you, Charlotte. Check. Did did that? Still have to do. That's done. That's done. Just Haven't done that. Check. Haven't done that. Haven't. That's done. I'm getting you out of here. Just let me stay. I deserve it. You deserve the chance to pay for your mistakes. Now come on. was able to pull Clara out of the fire just in time. We rushed out the front door before the stairs collapsed. Imagine my relief when I saw that Jessalyn and Harper had made it out safely as well. Clara finally told Jessalyn the truth, and about how sure she was that she'd be pushed out of the family entirely when she discovered Charlotte had changed her will. How jealous and powerless she felt the night she lit the match, and how badly she wanted to scare Charlotte how quickly the fire got out of control, and how heartbroken she was at Charlotte's death. She would have given anything to take that night back. Jesslyn later said that was the first time she saw the real Clara, who wasn't a cold-blooded killer, just a woman so dedicated to hiding from her past, she lost herself. The fire department traced the source of the blaze back to the faulty furnace in the basement and insisted we all visit the hospital for exposure to toxic fumes. The doctor I saw explained that carbon monoxide from Harper's furnace may be the cause of some of the unexplained things I saw around the house. Apparently, many of the ghosts in Victorian era fiction may have been inspired by the effects of exposure to carbon monoxide from faulty heaters. In the weeks that passed, Jessalyn began to take control of the family company. She's offered way to position on the board and tasked him with keeping an eye on the day-to-day -day operations of the company's labor force. I imagine he'll take her up on the offer, once he's back from a trip to visit a certain former ghost hunter. Savannah called to tell me she's invited Wade to come out for a visit. I was a bit annoyed when I found out what Savannah hadn't told me about this case, but I have to admit I'm really hoping things work out for those two. Colton and Jocelyn seem like they're on the road to patching up their friendship. They both seemed mutually relieved to dissolve the engagement. Colton has a lot to iron out with his parents and his relationship with Lexi, but he seems determined to do things on his own terms. Harper disappeared shortly after the fire. After an exhaustive search, Wade and Jessalyn tracked Harper down and convinced her to rejoin the family. Years of Clara's manipulation left her a bit suspicious of the offer at first, but she finally agreed, provided she could completely raise Thornton Hall, and in its place build a public park dedicated to the memory of the lives lost on Black Rock Island. Jesslyn loved the idea and considered it the first meaningful step toward building a company and a family that would have made Charlotte proud. If you ever find yourself visiting Black Rock Island, the creepiest thing you're likely to encounter is Harper enjoying a good book next to the tombstone that bears her name and maybe those trees, but it's not their fault they look like that. As for me, I'm looking forward to good old non-haunted river heights. Can't wait to see you. Love, Nancy. Mm. Uh, it 
time is it? Huh? Mm. Listen carefully. The call operation has been terminated. Mirror is moving uphill fast. Do you know who that is, Nancy? The unit is dissolving and exiting Glasgow. I secured the formula. We have immediate backup. We want to spoil the secret. I'm solving the city. I think I'm being followed. Agent C. <laughs>